Hi everyone! Today we will be introducing our website Learn English Kids. This site is for children who try to learn English. Additionally, it provides cultural content for kids all around the world. Now, let's look at our site. When we first open the site, the home page welcomes us. And in the home page, there is a top corner which has login, sign up and newsletter parts. In the home page, there is a menu bar. You can click on the buttons to go other pages. Under the menu bar, there is an actual section. In this section, we can find some subsections, such as watch a video, read a story, play a word game or write a comment. In this section, content usually changes and replaces new ones. Next section is for newcomers. There is some information about the website. In this section, the contents of the sites are briefly mentioned, such as games and songs. At the bottom of the page is a section for you to write your comments. On the right side of the page, there is a section which you can find English courses near you. You can find many countries among the, among the options. Under this section, you can find help and support. You can access information which you want in these subtitles. In the other section, you can find all the topics from A to Z. In the last section, you can be informed about the latest updates on the site. When we click on the Listen and Watch page, we see five categories – Songs, Short Stories, Poems, Video Zone and How To Videos. When we open the Song page, we can see several song options about our topics. For example, if we click on the first one, A Bear Named Sue, we see a preparation part. If we click on it, preparation vocabularies are opened. There are vocabularies which are about the song. Teachers can use this part to raise awareness to children. And also, students can match vocabularies with the picture. We can start listening with the subtitles. There's also a game part about songs. Students play the game by using the vocabularies of the song. The teachers also can print the words, activity and the answers. There's a discussion part for the students' speaking skills. You can find relevant tags also to reach more. And you can add and read the comments. When you click on the Read and Write button, you see three different sections. Your turn, Reading Practice, Writing Practice. Let's look at your turn. If your students like writing about different topics, this section is for them. There are lots of topics such as best friends, birthdays, family, etc. For example, when you click on Jobs, you see questions about it. What do you want to do when you're older? What do you think are the best and worst jobs? Children can write something about their ideas and also read others' comments. Now let's look at speak and spelling part. This section provides us many opportunities to practice pronunciation. In this section we have sound, speak, spell and tricky words part. Let's look at spelling. And let's look at the first game, the spelling sports day. You can click on the game part to play the game. It is very easy and fun for children to do it. When we look at the grammar and vocabulary session, we can see many categories. These categories are practice, grammar videos, grammar chants, word games, and word of the week. Let's see one of the categories in detail. When we click to the grammar practice, this page opens. This page contains several grammar practices like adverbs, imperatives, comparatives, superlatives and models. So if you want to search the grammar topic in a simple way, you can choose letters that is related to your topic. Ok, we can start with adjectives. If you do not know how to use the page, you can click onto the help button. This button helps you understand the page. In this page, first the grammar rules are given with examples and some important points related to the grammar topic. And then, there are two games for each grammar topic. Click and start the game. As you see in the page, these games might be putting words into the correct order or making a sentence. Furthermore, there is a document session in here. If you want to practice the rule, there are some activities, text and their answer keys. For example, let's click the activity for this grammar topic. As you see, there is an activity sheet for each topic. Finally, for this page, you can make a comment to evaluate the presentation of the grammar rule at the end of the page.
When we click on the fun and games, we see three categories, games, jokes, and tongue twisters. When we click on the first one, games, students can see lots of games. For example, ABC Countdown. You can start the game and make discussions. And also students can reach much more relevant text. After you play the game, you can read and add comments. Let's move on to the other category, print and make. There are four sections, flashcards, crafts, worksheets, and colorings. In coloring section, there are some pictures from many different topics, including people, places, and different times of the year. You can click on one of them. After you print the picture, you can color the picture according to instructions given in the paper. Our last section is the parents section. As the name suggests, it's for parents to be involved in education. In this section, we have six parts, and these are helping your child, video tips, top tips, resources, courses, and apps. Let's briefly explain them since they are very important. First one, helping your child part, is about expert advice. Parents can find related researches about raising a child or about education itself. The second one, video tips part, is the visual version of the helping your child part. This part provides brief videos to help parents cope with educational or mental issues. Top tips part is solely used for English. It gives tips to parents about learning strategies and so on. Next one, resources part, might be the most fun for kids. Since it provides many games which are not just for learning English, but activities just to be done for fun. The next one, courses part, is about finding face-to-face -face teaching centers. It shows us suitable places where children can take courses. And finally, the last one, apps part, provides parents with many apps that can be integrated into teaching English. We briefly explained the usage of Learn English Kids, and this site has many advantages for teachers and students. Thank you for watching our video. Now let's watch our classroom demo. What we have learned today? Clothes! Learning again? Clothes! Yes. And now we're going to play a game. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Alright now. Uh, we use our site Learn English Kids, and we got this activity from here. Now, uh, we will do a matching activity. What is it? Matching match activity. Yes. Now, we have photos mm -hmm. and we will match them, okay? okay. Is it clear? Yes. yes. I'm going to mark the next one? Yes. Okay, okay. Now, who wants to do the blue one? Adam, come here. Keep your color. 